top to the river to ya. We're going to be playing some evil genius. It's going to be on in right. Right. Now. We're going to play some evil genius. Let's get into it. Evil Jesus is about a game. You build a giant lab, you're evil. Right, listen up, team. There have been reports of a new player in the underground. We don't know who it is, but we know they're organized, motivated, and building a team of henchmen and minions, the like of which the world has never seen before. This person is attempting to become an evil, evil genius. genius. Sir, sir. What is sir, it, sir. Perkins? Would you say that the evil, evil genius, genius would make an underground, underground lair, sir? sir? It would appear not, Perkins. However, I fear it's only a matter of time. What do evil lairs look like, sir? Well, Perkins, if I were to build an evil lair, not that I would, you understand, I'd design an evil lair the like of which the world had never seen. Probably build it into a mountain, Perkins. Underground. Throw in a barracks for the men, and a control room to organize the away teams. And a strong room, of course, store all my ill-gotten gains. Probably have to build some recreation items for the men. They get disloyal, you know. Maggots. Would you build traps? <laughs> Hundreds of them, Perkins. Don't want agents snooping around while you're taking over the world. <coughs> and I'd build a cover operation to hide the base from prying eyes. Camouflage. That's the key. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not an evil genius, sir. Don't be such a damn fool, Perkins. <laughs> right, team. You have your orders. Get out there and find me a madman. So, mm -hmm. I believe they're going to be coming out with an evil genius sometime. I don't know when. Don't comment to me on that. Just heard it on the little news on the Steam web. <coughs> I know how to already play the game, so let me just lower this. We're going to go um, with an easy one, of course. And I know how to play the game perfectly. Maxwell is probably the best one to go with. There's also Alex, which is basically an evil person. That's a girl. She comes in there. Each person comes with a henchman. Um, um, Sheen Hu comes with a guy that's like a guy with a top hat. He's like a power. He's like cool. Like kind of like a. I don't really know. He's kind of boxer dude. Then Alex comes with this guy with a big afro. He has a gun. Now the problem is his gun is really crappy. And he's not a very good sidekick at all, in my case. My favorite is uh, Maximilian's sidekick. His sidekick is that guy in the background over there. He's the one with the sword, and he can literally slice up anything. And that's why I like him. So these are your minions, they help you. I'm going to start with three, you can get more in this here. So I'm going to add two more men and start building into my cave. So now the best place to build your cave <coughs> is here. What the heck am I <coughs> I'm kidding. I'm not fine. <coughs> you have to build inside this because later on you can build a perfect size. A hotel which will cover up your area and you want to build that there so you're probably going to leave this alone or build another entrance through here and then this entrance will lead to this one it's all planned out or I've already planned it out you know what let's start and do it over somewhere over here let's forget about this one because the last time I did it here, it was too small, so we're going to do it somewhere else. We're going to make it over here. And make it right there. <laughs> this leaves us more room to make a big hotel. And then inside, we can start making our quarter in this huge mammoth cauldron. So... You always want to start off with the easy stuff. First, you want to start off with the barracks. The barracks give up more supplies of people. So you want to always want to make the barracks humongous. Or you can just make them normal size. I'm going to probably make a small one because I'm not going to do my, uh, my techniques in this one. So I'm not going to need a huge base. My, my technique is, <laughs> so it's such a cheat. So what happens is, 
Nobody will attack you um, severely until you finish these missions. And then there's another, uh, they're basically the training missions to start you off before the, everybody attacks you. Once you finish these uh, missions, and then it'll give you like another mission. And once you finish that mission, then they'll send in millions of dudes. And it'll take forever until it's every piece and cob. So like, what I like to do is uh, not complete the missions and just have two of the rooms uh, the two of the rooms or just do one of the things to keep like these guys alive and they stay alive for the whole game because if I kill them then the mission's over and then they would have to move on or the next mission I won't complete and while I'm at it uh, I'll steal money around the world until I'm so rich I can literally buy anything which it will take forever so we're not going to do that one but we will have to make a storage room over here so, but in this one, <coughs> people get bored, so we're just gonna, we're gonna make it quick, quicker, where it's just very quick, in the sense of, we're just gonna have it. Boom, there we go. Oh yeah, I had so much gold at one point in the game, that like, I had like all these stacks of this room full of gold. It was just nuts. In this one, we're gonna we're gonna want you to not get bored. So I'm gonna quickly go through all the the beginner things and start the game. Okay, so I'm just gonna make some beds here, and then. I actually did it wrong. It should be. other way around because I think uh, the lockers give more people but the bunk beds have two beds so I don't need as many beds as bunk uh, as the lockers so I only need a few beds so I'm gonna make this here and like this my guys are working on it because I built so far away from the main buildings that give all the su supplies, it's gonna take a little while to not get to have enough. Also, I need to make one of these rooms. Make one of them here. Here. Make some traps in the front entrance there. Nobody can snoop around. Object has been ordered. Object purchase order confirmed. Make some of these and then make one of these. So we Object do that. Has been ordered. Then make some traps. And the front entrance. Now traps work. You have Object these pressure plates. Then you have these things called a tra traps, of course. I only have three at the moment. The most cheapest trap it, is ordered. probably the best trap for the entrances. Hey! Basically, you connect the tra- Shut your butt! <laughs> Excuse my dad for farting. So the pressure plates, you can activate them by putting them onto the trap. The trap, uh, all it does is pops up and then shows this guy with the guns and then the guys freak out and then they think it's a guy with a policeman and then they'll stop searching the area. Best one, if they try to come in, then I'll have traps to kill. Also, your minions can die from traps only if they're going to be betraying you or they're being very dumb. So always build a library once you get the, the things to build a library. So now I'm going to get my main minion, the sword. Ta-da! Oh, he's smoking a cigarette night right now. Threw it on the ground. Come here. You're going to take down these guys. Head on the rising sword technique. Don't, don't go. No, yellow dude, don't get hurt. You're, there's only one of you and there's four of them. Don't wreck you. Sword dude, save them. You son of a bun. Get down here. Come oh my gosh, this yellow guy's taking them all down, man. They cannot defeat me with their slender He died though now. Go get him. He took down two. You've been a good comrade. Oh, yeah. 
Nice. See how, like, easy he kills them? So now we have to hide the body bags. So now we have unlocked, yep. We've unlocked the call the freezer. <laughs> you want the freezer the most. So now there's two ways of making money in this game. You can do war domination, where this room here, right here, uh, you have to go around the world. It allows you to go around the world and steal cash from others. That's what it does. This is gonna be the freezer room. Get a freezer rack for our meat and for the people we killed. Object purchase order confirmed. Get maybe two of those. Because there's a lot of bugs that come in the game. Oh, and it's gonna get exploded. This guy here, or not, it's not gonna do it yet. I'll do that later. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, body bags. Body bags have to be hidden because if any tourists find them, they will leave immediately or call the police and more armies will be attracted. Or if any police or any guy like that sees it, <coughs> you know what's gonna happen. We're gonna find it. Probably send every troop over here to the island <coughs> to find what's happening. <gasps> oh my god, what the heck's wrong with me? So you wanna hide those. Also, uh, there's two ways of making money. The first one is you make a hotel, people pay to sleep there, and you can make money that way, or you can go around the world and steal money, of course. The the one with hotel, I like it more because you can have so many things. Not so many, but you have a, a pretty big amount of things you put in hotels. That's probably one of my favorite parts about this game. This guy's gonna blow it up now. Beep, beep, beep. Blow it up. Stand. Now that's long. Yep, construct that. Construct it. Boom. Hallway of light. Underground. This is uh, like a uh, dungeon keeper. Actually, it's rip off probably of a dungeon keeper. And yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, one more trap to keep people out of my uh. <coughs> what is it called? Uh, my my place with uh, gold. I can do this. These are air traps. When they activate, they like throw across the room with jet engines. I could put around this point. This object will be purchased when a minion is available for duty. And can blow them away. Also, there's, there's about three kinds of people. Uh, uh, four, including my people. There's my people, of course. If the forces of justice are causing you trouble, why shut up. Okay, that was the little video thing. If uh, for Important any help, information will be relayed to you. Yep, let's well, skip all of these, these so you don't. So, so basically, they made a bunch of videos to help you how to play the game, and that's how I learned how to play. I literally just watched all the videos. It took me a while, and I know the whole game. Anyway, so once they press this, this thing will blow them away, keeping them away. There's uh, the ones I'm worrying about. There's out of four people. There's uh, evil guys. That it's us. There's tourists. There is policemen of the either, or the justice of forces. You can call them that too. The bad ones are the robbers. The robbers will come into your place, sneak around, and steal all of your gold. And I want to keep that from pre pre preventing that happen. So this trap will prevent that happening. Also, policemen will get smart, so you need to make at least two rows of traps if you want to keep something extremely safe. What happens is they become smart, and then they roll on the ground, like, and they see the press of play, and then they roll across it, so they don't, they don't activate it. There, that should be a second line of defense of traps. And <clears throat> also, you can do this thing over here stand down alert or super alert. It just attentions everybody in the building. Hello, there's some guys, evil guys coming through. That's it.
Anyway, I want to get these missions done so I can do the uh, forces of justice to attack me. Making some more of these. All construction workers are busy at the present time. Objects purchase delayed. I will probably finish this room and then finish the video, or finish this room and then this room and this room and then I'm probably finish. Or fast forward it to the most important part. But I rather do it the other way. Oh yeah, there's another thing. <laughs> so this game is kind of confusing. Uh, there's power stores. If you if you place enough traps and stuff down, and or enough things that use power sources, then it will attract power, and you shall be powered. And basically, so much power can drive your building. Basically, um, dry power, and then you know what's gonna happen. No lights, no nothing. You're gonna be like in the dark. No, all the traps will deactivate. All the doors that you can make to keep out people will be deactivated as well. So everybody can come into your building. It's just a terrible thing. You only can get the, it once you run out of power. Then it gives you the room to build it. Which is kind of stupid. Oh, this guy's putting the, the TNT down in the room. You're going to blow it up. Run it away. Press the button. Nice. I guess I'm going to end the video and I'll come back when everything's good. Let's see here. This one. So, thanks for watching everyone. And goodbye.